take this out for the night. It's been triggered by the French government, but the goal is really to have something international and to be able to keep up with this project that can bring the open source community and especially the education community into building and creating an even better interactive whiteboard software for everyone in the world. So the basics of the software is to have something really easy to use. So the user interface, I mean, even though it's in French here, uh, I mean, you can, just by looking at the icons, you can understand what it does. Uh, then the second thing is that everything is fully automated, so you don't really need to know much about computers. When you launch the software, it creates a lesson automatically, and it saves it automatically all the time. So you don't have to go through a file system. You can just launch it, start to work, and then quit the software, and, and you're done. You never have to save anything. So we have the basic feature of the, of the software here. So of course, you find anything you want. And here I'm using it with a very cheap interactive whiteboard system, but it works with any interactive whiteboards on the market. So whether it's being from the big producer, or a tablet PC, or whatever you want to name it, even just with a simple computer, you can use it. So it's really universal for that. Um, so one neat thing is, that we have this library um, yeah. and instead of having a cluttered software where you have a lot of functionalities that most of the people are not going to use all of them what we've done is that we developed an um, application system a bit like on the Apple App Store or something like that you can download just the spe specific bits that you need so you're a physics teacher, you just one thing for physics, you're a geographic teacher, uh, you need to go on, uh, on Google. We have a great Google Map application here. It's going to take, internet is slow, it's connecting right into Google right now and you have a fully uh, working Google Map right into your whiteboard software. And what is neat is that when you publish the content that you have done onto the internet, it's fully native. So you don't need any plugin, you don't need any software to be able to read it. You can read what has been produced by the software right into your web browser. So we're using not only um, you know, open source technology, but the, the core of the software is based onto uh, web technology, HTML, JavaScript, uh, SVG. So that's neat. And those applications that I've been showing are made using the W3C widget standard. So anyone who knows how to develop a small website can develop his own tools for the software. So what is nice is that as an open source project, if you are um, a core developer, you can join the project C++, but if you just want to participate a little bit in the software, you can download or you can make your own little application and uh, that, that can bring us a big community. So I'm just gonna... Oh, and here you have, well... And that's right into your page. What we have to is a fully integrated web browser. So again, ease of use. You go here, you have your web browser right into the software so you don't have to quit, you keep your same environment. And something that is nice is that
there are amazing resources on the internet. And most of the time, if you use a normal web browser, you cannot show it to the you cannot show it to the class because everything is too small. So what we've done simply with this web browser is that we have a zoom here. Oh, let's wait until the page is low. And I think we downloaded something on the on the background. Okay, that's great. Yeah, so here, if you want to show that website in the classroom, I mean everything is too small. So what you do simply is that you can zoom. So you say larger, and it will give you a full zoom of your contents in order to be able to show it in the classroom. So here, that you can read perfectly in the classroom. And now, let's say you want to integrate this. Just click here. You take that part. And you say add to a new page, and then my content is add to a new page. And what we have is that at any time you can go back to content source. So I click here, and it will find the website where we took the content from. So there's plenty of, of great things to do, but I think the best is to go on the website sancore.org or sancore-program.com.org, uh, sorry. And there you have all the information. You can download the software. You can participate. The, the whole source code is available on the Forge. So just go there, check it out, and if you like it, just participate. I love it.